so um <clears throat> welcome to this video so in this video we are going to talk about career opportunities in mathematics okay so we are going to answer questions like after a degree in mathematics what is next or what can you do with a mathematics degree so please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos so in this video we'll be talking about what is mathematics as a program of study the skills one can develop from reading mathematics and we will we are going to answer this question whether when you read mathematics at the university you end up becoming a teacher or not then we also answer this question whether it is true that with a degree in mathematics you can work in any sector then why you need to develop some IT skills as a mathematics student and also talk about career opportunities in mathematics internships and if you want to continue schooling after your degree what are some of the options there for you so let's start so what is mathematics you know mathematics has been defined in several ways by different people okay but what i got here is that mathematics is the science that deals with the logic of shape quantity and arrangement so you know math is around us in everything that we do for instance the gadget you are using to watch this video now there is a bit of mathematics in it the dress you are wearing there is a bit of mathematics in it the sound waves the light waves everything that we see around us is full of mathematics and you know mathematics is so the building block for everything in our daily lives so mathematics as a program of studying helps to improve your problem solving ability and reasoning you know mostly you'll be giving questions to solve you're always giving a challenge a puzzle to solve as you solve those things what they do is that they improve your problem solving skills and capacity and also increase and help you to improve your reasoning how you approach problems so it also helps you to view things in different perspective and it also increases your analytical skills so it increases your analytical skills so what skill does studying mathematics develop so as a student reading mathematics you are likely to develop some of these skills if not all so critical thinking problem solving analytical thinking quantitative reasoning the ability to manipulate precise and intricate ideas time management and this is a part which has really helped me personally so teamwork you learn how to work in team independence and you learn how to construct logical arguments and expose illogical arguments and it helps you to improve your communication you know mathematics happens to be the communication tool of science so you could see that all the skills that mathematics and reading mathematics help you to develop are skills which are needed in the industry so that means reading mathematics helps prepare you for work after school so does one end up becoming a teacher after reading bs in mathematics at the university so this is a notion a popular notion by a lot of people and the answer to this question is that this is totally false is this no okay it is just that i'm um, becoming a secondary school teacher happens to be the least thing you can do with a degree in mathematics actually that's the least thing you can do so there are several mathematicians working in the industry some are working in the hospitals banks IT firms, NASA, ministries, mining companies, telecom companies, cyber security firms, and a whole lot of um, industries. So that means 
if you read mathematics you don't automatically become a teacher please there are a whole lot of things that you can do with it and you can work almost everywhere okay and is it true that with a degree in mathematics you can work in any sector so this is 100 percent true you know mathematics is not all about solving equations finding the value for x finding y differentiating this integrating this no as you climb the ladder you realize that mathematics helps you to solve problems so mathematicians solve problems around us they identify problems in the society and they use mathematics to solve those issues and the truth is that almost all the problems that we have in this world are being solved with mathematics they always involve a bit of mathematics before we can finally get a hundred percent solution to it so as there are problems in every sector of the economy that means mathematicians are needed everywhere to help solve those problems and issues so yes as a mathematician you can work everywhere you can work everywhere you just have to develop an interest in something and make sure you master it so why is it necessary for you to develop IT skills as a mathematics student you know to be successful as a mathematician you need to develop some computer skills like coding programming you need to learn how to program in at least one powerful programming language so for instance you can learn how to program in python c java javascript c sharp and what have you and this helps you to stand out as you can use your knowledge in mathematics to develop several applications to solve some problems using your IT skills so as a mathematics student one thing that you have to know is to develop some soft skills right you can also learn how to program in R that's very important so career opportunities in mathematics mathematics offers a huge variety of career opportunities it is important you plan ahead and know about your options so that you'll be setting on which of the career opportunity you want to focus on and you know one fact is that mass graduate and more and this is according to the statistics from um the office for national statistics uk so it says the average hourly earning of a graduate of a mathematical science is 18.92 euros compared to an average of 15.18 euros for other graduates so that means mathematics mathematicians really earn a lot that means maths really pay so you can become an actuary or an actuarial analyst and you know actuaries are business executives who use mathematical and statistical skills to define analyze um complex problems arising in insurance and pension fields so with a strong foundation in mathematics you can become an actuary or an actuarial analyst you can become an astronomer a chartered accountant a data analyst a data scientist an investment analyst a research scientist a secondary school teacher a software engineer a statistician a computer programmer a lawyer a space you can work in a space or air aircraft industry you can be a cryptographer and many others right so you can try and read on these job titles and you realize each of them needs mathematics so during your days in school one thing that you are going to hear of is internships internships how important are they internships are very very important so you should try and do internships during your program they help you to know how you can apply the knowledge you have acquired in the industry okay and they also help expose you to the outside world i personally it is when i started doing internship that i realized that maths was really really important and it was needed everywhere 
So you can take internships in any company of your choice depending on what you want to do after school. So you can intern at banks if you want to go into the financial sector after school. You can intern at IT firms, those of you with com coding skills, computer skills, mining companies, multi-credits, savings and loans, insurance companies, etc. You can work in lots of areas. So, um, graduate school. So, graduate school is after your BSc. You can you hear of masters and PhDs. Yeah, that's the graduate school. So, right after having your four-year degree, some people will want to further their education in mathematics by doing their masters in mathematics and PhD. So, some can also decide to um divert a little bit to different areas like engineering um, computer science and the rest and one good thing about having a degree in mathematics is with a degree in mathematics if you want to go to graduate school you can do almost anything you can branch into law medicine computer science engineering even if you want to branch into social sciences you can that's one of the advantages of reading mathematics at the undergrad level and also there are several scholarships available for students as such so reading mathematics in the university is very rewarding it comes with a lot of opportunities it is just up to you to stay focused take it serious and have an option so that you work very hard towards that so mathematics is not a bad program at all reading mathematics doesn't mean you're going to be a secondary school teacher or you're going to be um, jobless after school there are a whole lot of things you can do with mathematics and as i'm saying it's all up to you to stay focused be serious and know what you want and work towards that so thank you very much i hope this video has been insightful so please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel so thank you very much